Hi, Chad here with Purple Collar Life. Thanks for joining us. If you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy the video. Consider clicking that subscribe button and the thumbs up button. In today's video, one of the first accessories I'm putting on my new Super Duty F350 is a tonneau cover. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about which tonneau cover I chose and why, and then we're gonna do the full install here. This is a long bed, but you'll see how simple this process is. This is the Truxedo Truck Sport cover. It's a roll up cover. And the reason I chose this one is it's exactly the same cover, except a couple feet longer than the cover I had in my old F350 Super Duty. That cover lasted me well over 10 years, held up really good. So that's part of the reason I chose this one. The other reason is I like to be able to roll it all the way to the front of the bed. That'll let me use my uh, high camera mount to see down into the bed to the fifth wheel hitch. And then the third reason was, I think it's a great value. This particular cover for the eight foot bed in our 2020 F350 Super Duty was $350 at the time of this video. This is not a sponsored video. We're not getting any payment for making this video, um, but I did want to share with you the brand I chose. So there you can see the part number for a 2020 and newer F250, F350 long bed. It's a 279601. And I will put the Amazon affiliate link down below. If you're considering this cover and you end up ordering one, we'd appreciate if you'd use that link. It'll give us credit for sending you for Amazon, but it won't cost you any more. So inside the main section of the box here, you can see we've got the rolled up cover and we've got those long eight foot bed rails. So I put out the instructions. These look like the exact instructions I used when I was putting this tonneau cover on my 2005 F350. I don't think they've ever been updated because it is such an easy system. Anybody can do it. I would say, you know, Mackenzie, our daughter, is actually very mechanically inclined. She'd be able to do this no problem. And even Jennifer, who is not super mechanically inclined, I think even without my help, she could install this. So we've got these little gaskets. We'll use those. Your activation card for your warranty, the instructions, the bulkhead gasket, which goes right up there at the front of the bed our pack of six clamps, and that's the contents of the box. Tools I'm gonna need, brought out a razor blade knife and a ratchet wrench with a one half inch socket. The very first thing we're gonna do is put this bulkhead gasket right here on the front of the bed. So I wanna leave the sticky part on the top. I'll start peeling this off and I want to line it up with the edge of my plastic bed rail here, pretty close to the middle. Now I've got the bed liner, the spray in bed liner from Ford on this bed. So I want to stick this on pretty good so that it stays in place. We're going to leave the top on it for now until we set our rail in place. I'll use my knife to cut the excess first piece of adhesive I've stuck on my new truck. Believe me, it is a little painful. I hate sticking or modifying anything on the new truck, but I'm excited to have the tonneau cover. We store a lot of things in the bed when we're camping. I usually have my generator back here. Um, we have the fifth wheel hitch in the back of the truck. Sometimes there's some tools. A lot of times there may be some firewood. So plenty of things back here that I'd like to keep covered up when we're not towing the camper. And these tonneau covers do a great job of keeping those things covered up. I did consider the flip system. Um, that is a great system. The couple things I don't like about the flip tonneau covers is when this section, when you leave the back section down for towing, it does impede the view of this high mount camera from seeing your hitch. Second thing is if you fold it all the way up on an eight foot bed, it actually sticks above the camera. So it totally blocks the camera and blocks your rear view window. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to go with a rolling tonneau cover. If you're asking why didn't I get one of those hard ones that can fold down in, there's some beautiful designs of those. The problem is our generator actually sticks just a little bit above the bed rails. The soft tonneau cover can go over top of that in between the bars. The hard tonneau covers that lay flat with your bed rails will not go over our Honda EU 3000 generator in the back of the truck. So another advantage for me using the soft roll-up Truxedo cover. You can see I am following the instructions here. 
you may want to watch this video in its entirety first and then follow the process. But the first thing I want to do, according to the instructions, is on my long bed rails, I'm going to take these adhesive corners, corner plug is what they call them, and stick them right on here. Try to get them to fit perfectly, get those stuck on. You can see there's a nice rubber gasket the whole length of the rail. No adhesive, so this doesn't have to get stuck to your nice plastic rail covers. Um, that's another reason I really like the truck sport system. The next thing that we want to do is kind of set everything in place. I have not yet peeled the sticky off of that bulkhead gasket. I'm not going to do that yet. Set my left side rail up on top. Carefully so it doesn't fall down and scratch the side of your truck. Your brand new Super Duty. And what you want to kind of do is get things lined up a little bit so you can see, like if I'm looking at this, I'm very close to the edge of the truck on this front and about two inches in on this front. So you want to try to get things lined up parallel to the rails on your truck. And you can use these clamps to start holding things loosely in place. Use your half inch socket. You need to loosen this bolt that holds the clamp. So here you can see teeth on the bottom, teeth on the top, and there are teeth back here. So you want to put this up underneath the channel. Make sure you're loosened up enough to fit up over the top. And then these teeth grip back here on the edge. And when you tighten this up, it's going to clamp that in place. Now I don't want to do that yet because I still need to be able to move this around and line things up. I also want to not tighten it up because we're going to need to find out where this needs to sit in the bed so that it doesn't interfere with the rails, the bars that come across the tonneau cover. But I do like to use them on the back here just to hold the cover in place, the rails onto the bed, while we're getting things lined up so that there's less of a chance it falls down and scratches something. So we do that same thing here. We've loosened up our clamp down underneath onto the rail and it kind of grips those pieces a little bit. We'll tighten up the bolt just a little bit. The next thing we want to do to start lining things up is you'll see here in the channel there's a slot and here is an, an extruded piece that will stick into that slot. We're going to go ahead and line those up. So when you have your roll laid here on the bed you want to make sure that it's unrolling towards the back of the bed. You'll see on this piece there is a gasket. That's what would be down and it will actually be mated with this gasket we've set down. But right here is our extruded piece and right there you can see the channel it slides into. So I'll do that now. And slide them together. And if you're trying to figure out which side of the rail goes where, if you haven't figured that yet, there is a P for passenger side. And there is a D for driver's side. And now you can kind of see why I didn't want to clamp anything down or stick this front piece yet. Because we want to make sure those are tight and lined up. Over here, we've got half an inch or so. And over here, we're inside the bed of the truck. So we want to slide everything a little bit towards the driver's side until we get the same distance. We're still over the bed here. The next thing we want to do is put our other four clamps on without tightening them up. We're, all, we're going to leave these all loose for now so that we can adjust the position as necessary. Up over and then we will tighten them down just enough to kind of hold things loosely in place. So I've got my three clamps on each side loosely placed and if you're wondering on the eight foot bed where I put them, I put the far back one just behind my uh, tie down point. The second one, I was trying to figure, you know, based on the wheel well, I thought maybe right here, but then I decided because of this bump out, I wanted it in front of that a little bit, so I ended up just in front of there and in the front of the bed 
I put it as far to the front as I could get it. Now what I need to do is get things lined up. And what I'm not super happy with is here in the front of the truck, in order to be completely set inside that channel, I'm a little bit inside the bed rail here and on this side a little bit inside the bed rail. I wish that they were flush with the bed rail like you can see as I move further back and I'm not sure if that will cause a problem if I actually have to slide them further in as I move back or if it will be difficult to get the velcro to seal. So we'll give it a try here and I'll let you know what I think. I'm just doing a little bit more adjusting here trying to get things lined up. Having a little bit of trouble getting things squared away here so I thought I would unroll more of it. I'll go up to the front and see if I can slide that header a little bit one way or the other to get things to line up. So I can see here that my vinyl needs to come a little bit this way so that I can get it. My plug is all the way in and I should be pretty close to being lined up. There we go. We just pulled a little bit over here. Let's see if that helps. We need to get these bars centered on the rail. You can see that one wasn't even up on. That one's on now. That one's on now. So I think this rail needs to come out just a little bit so that our Velcro lines up evenly. Right now, if I were to line the Velcro up perfectly, there would be a little bump there. And I know Velcro is a trademarked name. I probably should be calling this hook and loop. We do have these nice straps. This is different than what I had before. Hopefully this system lasts longer and works better. So I think we're lined up here. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up these clamps. Um, and I'm still going to wait before I remove this paper that adheres the bulkhead to the front of the cab just to make sure I'm all squared away first. My teeth right there on the channel. Now the instructions do say to tighten the front ones up first. So just like we did on the front corners, we want to go ahead and attach our little sponge pads onto our back corner here. Get things lined up. This is a little bit different latch system than my previous uh, roll up bed liner, the Truxedo Truck Sport I had. You can see what's going to happen is this lip edge this lip edge right here needs to set inside here, and then when it's time to release it, you just pull down on this lever. Let's see if we can get them. You want to put both sides in that lip at the same time and then push down. It says cover tension. There is no need to adjust cover length tension. The latch assembly is set to the correct tension. Any modification done to this will void warranty. So I'm guessing there is no adjustment. It's just because it's brand new. Want to make sure we have enough space on each side. What I like to do sometimes is lift it up to make sure we're loose and properly centered. And then you want to push down both sides at the same time. And there we go. We will be doing a future video where Jennifer and I will talk about things that we had like must-haves for our new truck. One of the things I really wanted was bed lights inside and this is exactly why. Now I can see what's under my tonneau cover without shining a flashlight in there. I can see all the way back all eight feet of the bed. Just a little preview of one of the things I'll be mentioning in our must-haves video. So I am really impressed with how this turned out. Again, a little bit concerned about those rails being so far in up here on the front of the bed. So you can see, you know, we're pretty narrow up here and those metal pieces are actually inside the bed a little bit more than I'd like. I'd like them to be outside the bed rails. So we'll see how that holds up. By the time you get back to the back of the bed though, you can see that, you know, the bed must flare back a little bit and we're in good shape back here. Try to get the same on both sides, just a little bit more than a finger width over here. 
and it looks like we're a little bit less than a finger width over here, so we do have some alignment to do yet. That was the hardest part of the process, was just getting things aligned. The actual installation is pretty simple. And when it's time to unhook your tonneau cover to roll it up, it's really easy. Just push that little, little lever down that I showed you previously. You can do one side at a time. Just kind of hold on to this so it doesn't pop way up in the air under the tension. You can see how if I wasn't holding that, it would have gone even higher. Brand new and there is a lot of tension, so that's kind of why it does that. But I like that it does seal down nice and tight that I can still get things closed up. So we'll close it first. Close the tailgate. We're in good shape. The last thing we want to do is stick our Velcro down. I like to pull some tension across and then press it down the whole way. Pull tension, press down. You can actually see the tension pulling off of the top when I pull down. The back corner is always, for me, the hardest. And you want to make sure you don't tuck that underneath. You want to get it out of her top. Do the same thing here. I always start at the front. It's just kind of my system. Same thing, we pull tight, push down, pull tight, push down. So if you're new to the channel, you probably don't realize I do a ton of research on something before I buy it, before I spend my hard-earned money on it. I did a ton of research on the Super Duty truck and the Godzilla engine. And of course, having already owned one of the Truxedo Truck Sport tonneau covers was a huge benefit. But I still did research because I had never had the 8-foot version before and I wasn't sure about some of the changes since more than 10 years ago when I had the previous one. So I am impressed with this tonneau cover. Again, installation was easy. Mackenzie could have done it. Jennifer could have done it. Just alignment was the most difficult part. And maybe it's just because I'm super picky. You know, I'd like to have exact same spacing on both sides. So I'm actually going to loosen up those clamps and do that now so that it is perfectly aligned and squared with the bed. Hopefully this video helped you out if you are thinking about buying or installing your Truxedo Truck Sport roll-up tonneau cover on your 8-foot Super Duty from 2020 forward. You can see my tailgate still opens and closes nicely. No interference. It's easy to unlatch this and roll it up. Those nice clamps uh, in the front hold it in place once it's rolled up. So, so far, first impressions. I'm as, as happy with this as I was with my previous one in my six and three quarter bed 2005 F350. If you haven't watched the video on why we sold that truck, I'll put a link up above. But that's kind of an explanation of why after 17 years we sold that truck and today we're in our new Super Duty and first edition tonneau cover. Stay tuned, lots more videos about this truck, camping, outdoor, rural work here in Northwest Pennsylvania. We do a lot of chainsaw work firewood splitting, um, snow plowing, mowing, property owners in northwest rural Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time. Oh, what do we even have down there in the bed? It's so dark. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Worth every penny, Jennifer. Look, those lights light up the entire bed.